Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi boys and girls, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Hey, today we're going to be working on multi-digit multiplication. What is that? Well, that's where we're going to have multiple digits. It's going to be more than one, more than two. So it could be two and three, or three and four. Let's go to work. Okay. So first, let's, let's set up a problem. You know, I have, let's say, uh, Florida scored 12 points, and Alabama scored 24 points in a game. What would be the product? How do we multiply that out? Well, let's take a look. So we're going to use the distributive property. And that's going to, that could be done different ways. So I could have 10 times 24 and 2 times 24. See how I've distributed it. Or I can have 12 times 20 and 12 times 4. Well, let's take a look at it either way, you know, let's just do this, let's just work it out, you know, I can have it another way too, so let's take a look here, so 10 times 20, 10 times 4, and then I have 2 times 20, and 2 times 4. See how we've broken it up into, into various levels, it's, we're distributing the multiplication over different ways here. So let's just pick one of these and I want to go ahead and, and just um, let's just pick this one here. So I have 10 times 20 which is that 10 from the 12 times the 20 from the 24 and then 10 times 4. See I did that 10 times the 4 here and then I take that 2, 2 times 20 Follow along, and then I have 2 times 4. Well, let's just check it out. Let's just do this 10 times 20. Well, we have 110 20 times, or 20 tens, or 20 tens 10 times. But it's just 2 times, so 2 tens times 110 is 2 tens. I have two zeros there, so that's 200. Easy peasy. 4 times 110, so it's going to be 4 tens, so there's 4 tens, which is 40. 2 times 20 is 2 times 2 tens, so 2 times 2 is 4, and if it's tens, it's going to be 40 again. And then 2 times 4 is 8. Notice how I lined everything up. Now let's add it up. So it's going to be 8 in the ones column. 8 in the tens column, and 2 in the hundreds column. So 288. Hey boys and girls, let's look at this a little bit different way. Uh, we did the distributive property just right now. Uh, let's look at it as a partial product. Let me show you how you set that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this 24 times 12, all right? Now what I do is instead of multiplying this and moving things around and remainder or whatever, no, let's, let's just do it all out like this. So let's do 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 tens is 40. So I put that in the tens column. So that's just 48. 10 times 4 is 40. All right, follow me along. And then 110 times 2 tens is going to be 200, because I'm going to have a zero. Imagine there's zeros here, so it's, we're going to be 2 and then adding two zeros, so 0, 0, 2. I want to add all that up. Now, notice how I have my 1s in the 1s column, or the 1s place value. I have uh, these numbers, that's 40 and 40, and the 10s column, or the 10s place value, and the 2 or the 200 in the hundreds place value. Let's add it all up and see if we get the same answer. So 8, 4, or 4 tens plus 4 tens is 8 tens, and then 200, it's 288. We got the same answer whether we did it as a partial product or using the distributive problem. Okay, I want to show you a different way on how to do multiplication, and it's called the box method. So follow along with me. 
So a couple of weeks ago, um, Alabama played Florida, and they won the they, well, I'm sorry, they won the game, but at halftime, they had, Alabama had 35 points, and Florida had 17 points. Let's see how I'm making this fun. I'm using real numbers to do this. So the box method is I, I draw, well, let's say it's, it's a tic-tac-toe. Um, some people draw the box all around it. I'm not going to worry about that right now. So let's plug in these numbers, okay? So if I have here, this is multiplication, 30 and 5, and then I have 10 and 7. Now, you're going, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see here. 30 and, then, uh, and plus 5, that's going to be equal to 35, right? And 10 plus 7, that equals to 17. We're, we're on track. We're, on, we're working this problem. All right. So 10, or 1 tens times 3 tens is going to be three hundredths because I have well, one times three is three put down the two zeros, zero, zero I have three hundred. Three tens times seven is going to be two hundred and ten. Whoa, how do you know that? Well, if it's just three times seven, that's twenty-one add that zero, two hundred and ten. Right? Following along with me? Five times ten is fifty because one times five is five five times zero is zero so it's fifty and then seven times five or five times seven we can we can do that five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five there we go so thirty five similar to a partial product so we add everything together three hundred two hundred and ten fifty and thirty five add that up five I have five six seven eight nine and then three hundreds and two hundreds is five hundreds, five hundred and ninety-five. Okay, boys and girls, as we know that um, Alabama was leading 35 to 17 against Florida uh, about a week ago, uh, and at halftime, and we're, we're just playing with these numbers, and let's look at it as a standard algorithm again. So here we go, 35 multiplied by 17, okay? so. This is our standard algorithm. Rather than doing a partial product, there's another way to do that. I know that 5 times 7, or 7 times 5, is equal to 35. So I put down the 5 1's, and I take that uh, 10, or those 3 10's, and put it up over there. I'm like, okay, so 3 times 7, right, or 30 times 7, is actually, because we're going to start moving over here, is going to be 21, but we have to add these things right here. 21, 22, 23, 24, so I put down 4 and 2. See how I did that? 245. Then I come over here and I say, well, wait a minute. I'm going to change colors. I have 10 times 5 is 50. You getting me here? All right? And then 10 times 30, or 3 tens, is going to be 300, so that's 350. I add everything up. Let's see if we get the same number. 5 and zero plus 0 is 5, 4 plus 5 is 9, or 40 plus 50 is 90, and then 200 plus 300 is 500, 595. We got the same number. There's multiple ways to do this. I want you to figure out your way on how you want to do multi-digit multiplication. Okay, boys and girls, so now we're going to go on to some larger digit numbers, or multiple digit numbers again. So instead of having 2 by 2, we have 3 by 3. There's many different ways you can do it. You can do the standard algorithm, you can use the distributive property, but I want to show you the box method. I like the box method um, for new learners, such as yourselves, to get a better idea on how to get this out and make it simpler for you. So let's get going with that. So I have three digits on each number, so I'm going to have to draw three lines for, so three going down and three coming across. And then, oop, let me make sure I put there, there's that multiplication sign because I know it's multiplication. Let's add the numbers. So I have, I'm going to put the larger number at the top, so 200, 
241. See how I wrote that out? 241 is 241. Repeat it over here, 120, and then there's that zero. And remember what the what every number multiplied by zero is? Zero. So, oops, wrong color. Let's get to the next color. So 100 times 200. We're just looking at the uh, the 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 starting digits there, so 2 times 1 is 2, and then we add up the number of zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's 20,000. 40 times 100 is going to be 4, and then add the zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4,000. 100 times 1 is 100. 20 times 200, that's going to be 4, and then the number of zeros, 1, 2, 3, and then 40 times 20, again, 8, add up this, or not add up, add the two zeros to it, so 800. 20 times 1 is 20, and then 0 times all the numbers is 0. Okay, so now what can we do is we can go over here and say, well, wait a minute. I can pull them all out and rewrite them all down and then do the, have them in the place values or, you know, the tens, or the ones column, the tens columns without, we can do it that way. Or we can add across. So I'm going to add across. So I know there's um, two zeros, and that's for that 100. Is there no, any more t uh, hundreds in there? No. So there's that. Do I have any uh, thousands? I at least have 4,000. And let's see here. I don't have any thousands. I have uh, tens of thousands. So I have two tens thousands. So that's two four one zero zero. Do that. Let's go go across here again. So this is equal to, and again, I want to make sure that my ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands are lined up. So I have zero. I have two in the tens. Any in the eight in the hundreds? I just have eight in the hundreds. And then I have four there in the thousands. And then this is just equal to zero, so I, I don't need to do, mess with that anymore. Let's just add this up. Zero, two, nine, eight, two. 289, 28,920. Okay, boys and girls, so I showed you how to do three digits times three digits. Now I'm going to have it where it's four digits times three digits. How can I make this so that uh, it's easier to do? Well, there's the, the box method gets a little more complicated. Um, doing the distributive method, that's complicated. We're going to work on the standard algorithm for this one. It, it's just cleaner. It makes it so that it's a little bit easier to write out. Follow, follow along with me. So I have, put the larger number on top, 4,725, and it's 379. And I'm multiplying. So what I need to do is I need to go from uh, right to left, or multiplying and such. So 9 times 5 is 45, so I put this 4 over here, 45. So that's four, five ones and four tens. Nine times two is 18, but we have to add that other four tens, 18. So 18, 19, 20, 20, one, 22. So that's 22, but it's actually 222. So I put the two over here. Nine times seven, 63, 65. Have that six over here. And then 9 times 4 is 36, plus 6 is going to be 42. 4, 2. Notice how I'm having all my 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s, and 10,000s in their own column. Let's go through with 7. So here we go. I have 70. It's actually 70 times 5. Okay. So which means I have to put a 0 here. So 7 times 5 is 35. That three up here, or actually 350. So 70 or seven tens times two tens is 14 tens or 140. So I have 14, 15, 16, 17. There we go. Carry that one over here. Seven times seven is 49, 50, zero. Seven times four. What is it? That's going to be 28 plus 5 is 33. Wow, we, all of a sudden we have this large number. Let's go back here. 
This time I'm going to use uh, red uh, so I can put it on top so you can see the progression of this. Again, zero, zero. See how I pulled those zeros down because we're starting out at 300. Okay, times 5 is going to be 1500. But we're, I'm just going to say 15 because that, that makes it sound easier. So 5, and I put that 1 up here. 2 times 3, or it's 20 times 300, but I'm just going to do 2 times 3. So that's going to be 6, right? 7. 3 times 7 is 21. So I put uh, that 2 there, this here. 3 times 4 is 12, 13, 14. Let's add all of that up. I have five ones, five. Two tens plus five tens is seven tens. Five tens plus seven tens plus five. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I have two fives, so I'm just going to cross that out, cross that out, put that over here on top of there. So this is just going to be seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, zero. Four, all right, so five, eight, nine, seven, one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one million seven hundred ninety thousand seven hundred and seventy five. That's using the standard algorithm. There's, like I said, there's other ways that you can break it apart. Um, I may have broken it apart to where it's like four thousand times three hundred or, or something like that. I, I'm not sure how I would do it that way, but you figure out what's the best way to do it for you, whether it's the box method. Uh, or the distributed property, or making groups of hundreds and tens and ones and such like that. I want you to figure that out. Until next time, this is Mr. Woods Teaches. And remember, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. Math fluency replaces math anxiety. Like, share, and subscribe to Mr. Woods Teaches. Thank you.